It seems the translation of this chapter actually came early, even though it is kind of sloppy translation. Therefore, one shouldn't exactly read it. But then again, the official translations never come up completely, so we're going with the, the sloppy ones. Eden Zero, chapter 235. And the story is finally moving into a different direction, so to speak. Even though we're still having the Aoi Cosmos remake uh, um, storyline left, we get the first real clue on one's, Eden's one's movement in this universe. And this is me, the angry anime fan, the spirit viewer. As I said before, Eden Zero Chapter 235 here. And first of all, a very good fan service uh, moment as we see the girls naked in the spa. With Valkyrie now officially have joined since she's alive, with many of them being very satisfied about that, especially since she was dead in the previous world. As we also see that uh, Madame Kurna is back on Jewel, Jewel Island in order to train, while we also get a reveal that one... Uh, uh, that one big uh, congressman in San Jewel is taking care of the abusive husband, which actually turns out to be none other than Paul, <laughs> which is kind of ironic. The panther thief Paul is a congressman. <laughs> it really makes the real big question about when, uh, well, um, that the previous worlds really were awful, and this world is. Oh, one world where everything is, um, well, happiness. We also get the reveal that the Star Shrine Maidens uh, never actually met Elsie in this universe. Because it actually turns out that, uh, just like many other happiness, the Civil War in Leonard never happened by now. So that probably means that uh, Elsie is now a princess in Leonard and perhaps even married to James, a.k.a. Justice. So, well, with that, a Valkyrie stands up with a beautiful naked body and uh, even says that, Omera, do you want to practice? Which uh, really um, shows that uh, where Omera picks up that thing. And also, Klein is saying that maybe she should practice too. This also creates a very awkward and sort of good uh, moments when uh, which says that uh, the best time to stimulate your body's ether is when you're naked and that actually makes uh, Val Rebecca in both a fan service scene and embarrassing s embarrassment scene and also in uh, well a moment of uh, realization apparently that every time she has bathed or has been naked or having used her ether gear, she has been naked, which actually is a true. The very first time she used an ether blast was in the spa of Eden. The very time she briefly fl flew into the future to saw that future where Happy didn't live, she was naked. And most importantly, when she got to third level world three, she was taking a shower naked. So, yes, that's actually a pretty big reveal on this situation. I mean, they can't reboot now, but that really begs the question on what happened next. It also makes sense since she was technically naked when she even jumped into that time of, well, um, an era where she didn't even have legs. And then we really get a fan service scene of Homer landing on top of her with, uh, after being overwhelmed. And of course, sister takes this opportunity to chain Rebecca up in order to, well, have some dominatrix fun. Elsewhere, the guys, though, are eating heavily in the food. And now they decide to go to I Cosmos to recruit Laguna. Even if, well, uh, Laguna is the leader of Oasis. And even perhaps befriending Shura, even though Laguna is opposing Shura. But in this moment that Pino decides to speak up because, well, it's... Uh, she mentioned a long, some time ago that she is actually carrying messages about Eden's One in this universe. So, um, 
now uh, it's time but and she wanted to tell everything until everyone was assembled but uh, but if they're heading out of cosmos then she needs to tell them now and it's revealed that in this universe she was an android built to destroy the Eden's one and now we get some reveal but at the same time not a reveal and um, that is uh, Siggy built the Eden's One. We still don't know why he did build the Eden's One. We have only got the mild implication that that was because, well, um, uh, that was because uh, he, uh, what is that word? He, he wanted a replacement for Eden Zero in case something happened to the Zero, but I'm st still not sure how what. But apparently, the Eden Swan was equipped with ultra high performance AI, probably implying that while well, he knew he couldn't captive, I mean, captainate, while well, he knew he always couldn't be on the one, he had an AI installed into it so he, someone could control it. However, the AI ran. Uh, the AI went rogue and apparently stole the one, and uh, er, Sigi could no longer handle it. Uh, and as we all know, it took over Sigi's bodies in order to psychologically torture the rest, all the while hiding in the shadows. So, uh, and within Pino is Eden's one's destruction code. And that is her mission. But Shiki says that is not her mission. The mission is for them to stop Eden's one. Uh, but Pino's real mission is to follow her dreams. So that this hyper world don't get destroyed. And as we know, her dream is to become human. Which a very adorable smile of Pino and the rest of the gang is there. But then Hermit asks something about that they have to take creative strikes in case the one decides to hijack Sigi's body. However, as the end of this chapter reveals, and Pino also apparently is going to discuss, one do not need to hijack Sigi's body in this universe. We still don't know if one is also aware of how how this, uh, well, w the universe works. But given to the fact that he was aware of universe 2 and 3, I mean, granted, that may has just been because he's technically hijacked Siggy, but also because he may very well have Ethereum as well, it's very likely that uh, one is completely aware of everything that is uh, in the universe. Because then we switch to the Eden's one. We see Wizard again, uh, being uh, talking to his master as the master begins to recite a poem. The stars are weeping. They pity us who possess no life, or perhaps the lament the suffering of humans who do. You needn't cry any longer. I shall put you at ease. And Wizard confirms that he holds the power to make his dream a reality. An armor and ether that surpasses even Lord C Zero, as we now see the Eden's One's new avatar form. Someone, a form called One of. I mean, kind of weird name, One of. But it stands for Over New Ethereum Void. Uh, I don't really know how that makes any sense. But it seems, but it seems that... Uh, Eden's once new avatar form is called one of as the strongest king of machines in this universe as he mildly turns around and we see that it's a very muscular android form that is heavily heavily based on the design of Siggy and perhaps even Siggy is in his overdrive form but it does not have Siggy's face it has horns but Clearly not the devil, Demon King swords. More of a face that is very similar to the fish face that uh, one has. So in this universe, one is not gonna hijack Sigi's body. No, 
perhaps because he already know that the rest of the gang is going to know that therefore he doesn't have to psychologically torture them instead he has created a new form for himself a new avatar form and that form is called one of a form with ethereon and perhaps even more a dangerous new machine I'm still not exactly sure why the Eden's one needs a robot avatar if the one is in the ship itself. Or perhaps it's because uh, the one is still just a ship. Therefore, as destructive as the ship is, it may not be capable of doing all these schemes as uh, the avatar form does. So yeah... We have the final antagonist of the show, one of the avatar form of Eden's one. And Pino holds the key to destroy it. Hopefully they can do that. But the dark stars are still in the service of Eden's one. We still don't know their story with the four star shrine maidens, but given Valkyrie is alive in this universe, we may very well get that answer this time. Give me your thoughts if you have any.